All right. I am back. My 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 camera is focused, and I'm getting that mouse off the screen. I think we should go train in the forest again. What do you think? Sounds good. Honestly, go for it. Wow. Going away. Well, so Elise, what is your best memories of the the Pokemon multimedia franchise, TM? Well, um, I only ever played, um, was it Alpha Sapphire? That's the newer one of the 3DS. Yeah. Um, and then I played some of, I think I played pretty much all of Pokemon Moon, and then some of Pokemon Sun. Um, my brother was more into, like, the, the cards and the... Um, the TV show. Alright, so you, you have a more unique experience because you've really only played the newer games. Yeah, I didn't really do any of the older ones. And we didn't really have any gaming systems until I was about like 10. Um, because my mom was very anti like gaming. We never had an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Wii or we just had, um, like a DS. Okay. Well, the Pokemon games were for the DS, so... Yeah, I think... I don't think Andrew... It's kind of funny. Well, he played a couple of Pokemon games, and I wasn't, like... Is it... You would have multiple save files. I wasn't super interested in the games, although I wish I was, because I realized that they were really fun. Um... But he really liked the TV show and watched that a lot and watched the movies, or a couple of the movies, and... Ash Crunchum. He went through a lot of phases, so there was a Pokemon phase, and then there was a Transformers phase, and then there was, like, a, um, Beyblade phase. Uh... And then a TF2 a phase. He had a, he had a what? Bakugan. Oh, I don't think he was ever in the background that I know of. I kind of into that, but it was more like I was kind of going through multiple things at once. It kind of culminated yeah. in 2009 where, like, Pokemon, like Bakugan, Transformers, and Bionicle, like, were, like, this all-encompassing sphere of nostalgia to me, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I have not actually finished any of the newer games except for X and Y. Um... And honestly, like, they're different, they're not the greatest, but they're not, like, total shit. <laughs> um, Would you say that the, um, the older games were more, like, what I'm looking for? I guess, do you think the new games have retained that charm of the old games? Absolutely not, but they've, they still have quality, and yeah. they're still fun to play, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, I... I loaded up, um, Sun, and I, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. And I kind of forgot how much I enjoyed it. Um, and I do remember having really fond memories of just flying through, uh, X. No, I, I, th I flew through Y. Um, just because it's a very easy game. Um, mm -hmm. and I feel like I would have enjoyed X and Y a lot more if it had been harder, or I suppose I could make it harder on myself as well. By like nuzlocking it, um, I guess. But it needed that third version, and it needed um, just more difficulty because in going through it so fast, it kind of I didn't have any time to stop and take in all I had to offer because I was just going boom gym badge, boom gym badge, boom gym badge, elite four done. So the new the newer ones, from what I understand, are quite a bit easier than the older ones. Yes. Um, the I feel like anything you can play on a DS is pretty much the sweet spot. Um, because the the Game Boy, like, and Game Boy Color games are a little, a little convoluted. They're a little um, like old. I mean, I'm playing it right now. It's still it's still fine, but they they're outdated, especially since Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and Fire Red Leaf Green exist. So. Um, there's not a lot of reason to come back to them. Unless, for example, ROM hack, or that's the hardware you got, or you just want to see what's up with like the original version, whatnot. 
but uh, so heart gold and soul silver pretty much replace gold and silver essentially. Mm. Um, and same for fire red and leaf green. Uh, but uh, I I have a lot of like, I have a lot of fond memories of that middle generation because that's kind of where I started. Um, like my first game ever was like a, a ROM of a, a yellow, but I did not get very far. And my first real memories, well, my, not my first official game, I also had a ROM of Emerald that I played the shit out of on my Windows phone in, like, in middle school. Because um, at the time, I thought that Windows phone sucked and that the store was bad because it couldn't play Flappy Bird. Oh, thank you. Um, but now, I have realized the error of my ways. Because because the Windows Store was so unpoliced and so unmoderated, it was ROM heaven for like the 16-bit, 32-bit era of gaming. Like I pretty had pretty much access to the entirety of the SNES and Game Boy Advance library. So that's why I fall in love with Chrono Trigger and uh, the, the third generation of Pokemon. Uh, I don't remember playing a lot of Zelda on that. I think there was. Zelda 1, and I got really far into it, and I cannot replicate it now. Like, I've tried to get pretty far in Zelda 1, and I just suck ass. Like, I got I get really far in Zelda 1. Um, I don't know why, I, I never found the Minish Cap, probably because I didn't know it existed at the time. And I didn't like Mario because I suck ass at platformers. Uh, <laughs> should I have any, should I have any puppy balls? That's fucking mine. Oh, no. Mario games. I'm gonna run away. I don't want to kill Pikachu. Yeah. Kill the Pikachu. No, he does, He's a boy. He doesn't. He doesn't deserve to die for his crimes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You won't kill him, but you'll kill him. I'm a Pokemon racist. A Pokesis. <laughs> ah, Spinarak. Nice. Cool. He evolves into Spider. <laughs> I like how his evolution is just bigger spider. Big, he rolls from small spider to large spider. Um, but, uh. Just double in size spider. Yeah, I, I did not, like, immediately beat. I, I didn't actually beat Emerald on the Windows Store. I. Like, I, re I kept restarting it for some reason. And then the furthest I ever got was, uh, the fourth gym, and mm -hmm. I completely skipped the text telling me to go back to Norman's gym, thought I had to go to the Relic Castle instead to progress the plot, and got promptly stuck because that's not how you progress the plot. And I also kind of, the touchpad controls were really shitty. So I kept falling through the floor, and I thought that whatever would, I needed to progress the plot was on the top of the tower, which it's not, Yeah. and I, I never got past that. Um, so the first game I actually beat was Black on um, the actual hardware, uh, followed quickly by, I believe, Ruby, and then Emerald, and then like Crystal, and so on and so forth. Because my brother ended up being platinum in that April one year, and I found it interesting just watching him say and let me play as Pearl, and then that's how I started playing Pokemon. I went from there to platinum, and then I, when Purple and Soul was first announced, I ended up going back to Pearl. Okay. It's I... an interesting game. I'm all new partner. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm kind of car. Not that I'm a car guy. It was, it was a hundred. Nice. Diglett! Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, he's slanted. Diglett. Dude, it's Diglett in italics. He's slanted. Oh, I just use a flying move on a ground type. That's not gonna do shit. <laughs> Never mind. It did shit. <laughs> not, it, it didn't do a lot. Not much shit. It, not it was shit, but it was not as shit as it could have shat. It was not hot shit, it was not cold shit, it was just shit. Microwaved shit. 
I'll God. just I'll just spam Metro until one of us wins. Rain dance? That doesn't help anyone. It's Man, we're it's indoors. Oh look I used all of it. I'll, I'll use Crush future on. sight and Yeah, I'll use future sight and then I'll just go ahead with um just uh, pecking it to death until Future Sight actually does things. Figure that out. Unless I die first. <laughs> Which, okay, that does three damage. I should have about an attack and a half left. Unless it misses. Oh, it does a critical. Alright, let's see that. And Future Sight should attack me now. Yep, there we go. Look at that funky animation. down. See? Can't for Jerry. Oh, there's more! Oh, I did not prepare for this. I'm gonna change to Slud. Slud has only one move. Yes, Slud <laughs> has the move I want it to have. I'm gonna poison it, switch over to oh. my, uh, her, uh, Kuna. That's what it was called. My mind just went blank. Um, poison it, switch to Kukuna, spam harden until that guy dies of poison. That's my plan. Unless I get one hit KO'd first. Slug, you, please don't do this. Please don't miss. <laughs> we don't need missing right now. Alright, there we go. It hit. I don't know if it's gonna poison immediately. Uh, no, but they're not. Well, hopefully this guy can just spam Defense Curl, which, that's a physical move. And then Poison affects it specially, right? And then I'll just spam Harden. <laughs> Forever. Yep, there we go. Poisoned. And let's go to... Nucky. Alright, next on the list. Um, so what do you guys think about anti-vaxxers? <laughs> They're an interesting breed. Uh, I did some uh, sneaking around at work. You know, I'm uh, I work for healthcare, so I logged on to one of the employee computers and I accessed the mainframe, hacked past all the data points, and I got in. I got into big pharma servers, and I learned something. They're sneaking through a couple of hard drive and RAMs. I found it. I looked up. Does vaccines cause autism? And it said no, which is a relief. But then I cast, I asked the big pharma AI, what does cause, uh, what does cause autism? And then my camera turned on and just showed a picture of me. So I guess I cause autism. Long story short, vaccines don't cause autism. I do. Run. <laughs> I will give you autism. If, if you're Polish, I'll give you autism. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna have these two guys harden for a while. Well, he's got defense curl, but same thing. Defense curling is not sexual. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Okay, well anyway, I think anti-vaxxers are dumb and stupid and they harm their children. Um, that being said, I do need to get my flu shot. I'm postponing that just because I'm kind of forgetful because it's one of the very few things I can actually do in my house. Well, I can't do in my house. Uh, I got to drive to the store and say, one stab please, and then they, they put it in my arm. So, yeah, gotta actually do that. Oh, actually, I can do it. I would say that, like, vaccines are important, but I would say that parents... I, I'd say that it's reasonable to let parents, like, have their own schedule for when they want to do vaccines for their kids. Broken. Like, I think that's okay. Because I think a lot of- because I know that with, like, newborns, they pressure them to have a lot of vaccines right off the bat. Yes. Well, that's because babies are too young to remember the torture you put them through. Like, they can feel pain, but they're gonna forget that shit immediately. <laughs> 
They are and they, 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 like, I don't think that no, they're you, like. You're not able to feel pain until the age of four. And you're yeah. Like you show uh, you show a four year old a needle, they will lift it, like they will lose their shit. You show a baby a needle, they don't know what that means. They're just like objects, and then you hide it behind I mean, their back, and the object is, is gone, and, and then suddenly their shoulder hurts a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and they scream. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> because even the tiniest like shot pain, because like shots don't hurt, but if you're a baby and have never felt pain before, that's gonna hurt a lot to you. So. Yeah, I mean it hurts. But it's it's like the teeniest bit, but any pain is enough to like. I mean that's why when kids like stub their toe, it's like you know they're on death's door. Oh, absolutely. Um, or when they get like a paper cut. Yeah, I'm a lot better at handling pain recently. Um, I don't have any examples pain. of having to like fight through a lot of pain because I haven't hurt myself a lot recently. Actually, I got I got um, boiling soup like poured all over me by accident at work the other day, and it like it like burn like I, burn, like, I get like some minor burns like all the way down my side and on my leg like very minor. Like, my skin was a little red okay. and it hurt to touch it, but other than that I was fine. Okay. Uh, but we had like some like burn medicine and some topical shit, so I just like went... and I was fine. But like the worst is like right here on my wrist is a little red. Right, right there, actually. Um, because I, I was wearing rubber gloves, and the soup got stuck in my glove, and, like, was, like, uh, preserved onto my skin. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of sucked. But, I mean, I was like, well, can't do anything about it now, I will just continue to work. <laughs> hey, and my strategy paid off. <laughs> nice! 69 experience points, I like it. Oh, no. I defeated Camper Jar with the power of 69ing. Uh -huh. Bye. Alright, you're champ in the making. You're really rocking. Are you battling the gym leaders? They're strong Are you and really battling dedicated gym people. Alone? What the fuck's wrong with you, kid? You got an egg? Oh, I thought it was gonna give me the name of my rival. I don't know. You know what? <laughs> Maybe I haven't met them yet because that's like a Johto thing. I don't know. Is it Pewter City or is it Pooter City? Pooter City. Pooter City. Pooter City. What can you do in Pooter City? Well, you can poop. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a jiggly bum. Yeah, look at him. He likes that. Well, I'm gonna stop looking at him because. It's actually now, I got like a little bit of time left because like I've been running the clock like a minute or two over and it's happened like enough that I'm, this would be like a 14 minute, so I'll just, I'll just wait like another minute or two and just dick around inside the Pokemon Center and see what I can do. Oh, oh he also says poo 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 poo. He's got it. Dude, this jiggly poo is shitting everywhere. <laughs> Man, Pokemon just took a little number two on the floor. She's like, okay! Yeah, he's doing, yeah, he's doing- I have a bag! You're a Jiggy Puff Sim. There's several moves that can be used only when Pokemon is asleep. I feel like if hmm. Pokemon were real, Jiggy Puff would be a bit of a problem. I mean, the ability to put anyone to sleep yeah. immediately is very... Yikes. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's illegal. Wait, what can I trade for a Zatu? Hold on. How the Pokemon huh? became illegal within the first day it was introduced to mankind. Yeah. Haunter. That's a very strange yeah. trade. I'm, I've disappointed him for the last time. Nice. <laughs> I'm no longer asking you for your support. I there's a whole new island. I was so amazed. Um, I'm guessing that's some... Um, that's a new island somewhere. And it's like a little addition that they made in the game. Let's see what my storage system has to offer. Nothing. Okay, bank account. Nice. I'm not gonna mess with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with banking. Let's see what's upstairs. You don't wanna invest in cryptocurrency and Pokemon? Yeah, well, what would the Pokemon currency even be? I mean, Dogecoin would just be Herdy or something. Herdy or Herdcoin. Yeah. We trade Pokemon with a friend. I don't have any. 
Let's see what happens. See, I am my own friend. Oh, it just froze. Whoa. I should have saved. Yeah. Your friend is not ready. <laughs> oh, great. Cool. Oh. Can I, like, I should probably save him. I would love to save again. Alrighty. Well, now that I've saved, I'm gonna end this one here. Bye!